we spoke about mind, we are alive, thought, we have experiences, we have personal experiences. I like to say that better than we think because it feels so much more encompassing to me, whether it's thought, feeling, emotion, whatever the experience is arising, it's that, just that energy of personal human experience. And today we wanna to speak about consciousness. We are aware. And I wanted to start off with being the seer. I thought maybe I'd take you through a couple of different points where I recognized the seer in me. I already, I already had a lot to do with the thinker. <laughs> but the seer, I, I was... I wasn't as much aware of until the last couple of years. And one day it was just, there's a little pathway that I take my dog on. And one day I was walking down that path and I was looking out onto, into the world, seeing the trees and hearing the birds, feeling the breeze, and just suddenly getting this really deep sense of God is watching through me. God is and my mind, the divine, the greater intelligence, the conscious, the great consciousness. Sid, Sid in the early days might have said the Christ consciousness. It was the language he used from his upbringing. And just being like in the feeling of mind has created this and it's watching this through me. Later on, a couple of years later, probably a year or two later, I was laying in bed and uh, I was gonna go to sleep. And I was on that edge between wake and sleep. I always know I'm in that stage because my legs kick out. <laughs> they start to fall asleep before me. And in a moment, in a moment, something for me really miraculous occurred. I, I experienced like a sort of split and what happened was, here on my right side, there was the consciousness, this really neutral seeing something. I don't know if I saw it or if I was aware of it. Well, like, I don't even, I couldn't tell you it had a look or it, nothing. It was just, it was just this knowing, it's consciousness watching completely neutral it was the most neutral and purest of impressions and on this side a bundle of personality shelia energy like everything that i think that i am my strengths and my weaknesses and my my personality characteristics and my inner drama and the things I care about and the things I hate and the things I love. And, and it was like colorful and uniquely me, but just ideas of me. You know guys how in the movies, sometimes there'll be a really thin lady or man and they, but for the part, they're this really large person and they don't want to gain 300 pounds. So they put this suit on them that, is made to look like they're heavy, overweight, or it was, it was like that. It was as if the core consciousness had just stepped out of the fat suit. And all that 
I don't want to even call it excess, but just that bunch of stuff was over here and the, the pure essence was over here of just the watcher, the seer. Not too long after that, I, I was watching Netflix and Leah and I, we like Netflix. <laughs> Sometimes we watch, like we binge watch funny stuff and there's this documentary on there about a Buddhist monk. I don't remember the name of it, but the Buddhist monk was relaying a story of the Buddha. And it really represented for me those two experiences that I had had personally in a really interesting metaphor that makes it so simple to understand. And he talked about the, this turtle, this big turtle. The turtle was walking over a sort of a terrain on the hunt for food at his slow turtle pace. And out of the corner of the turtle's eye, he saw a fox approaching from the distance. And the turtle, being the turtle, did what the turtle does. It pulled in its head and its feet and its tail inside the turtle shell. And the fox approached, hungry also on the hunt, trying to get at the turtle, jumping on the turtle, scratching at the turtle. And imagine the turtle eyes from the darkness of the turtle shell, watching as the fox is trying to get at him, is attacking him. But not at all being in any way affected by the, the doings of the fox. But feeling the experience of the fox, the turtle being, I don't know, I don't know what turtles do to it when they get an adrenaline. Maybe they have the same thing as we do, maybe not, but I just imagine this little turtle heart beating faster. <laughs> maybe he's sweating in his turtle shell, I don't know. <laughs> but he's having, He's feeling the experience of, ooh, I'm being attacked, but actually he's just the seer. He's just the watcher from the shell. And if we took the metaphor further, we'd, we could say 10 foxes could come, 100 foxes could come. He's just watching, having the experience of a bunch of foxes, right? And so when I, when I think of the seer, what I think of is the seer is watching thought, the experience of humanness arising, the foxes. The watcher, the seer, and the turtle shell is watching life unfolding, the aliveness and the things that happen in the world. It's just watching. It's watching the wisdom unfolding. And the seer has an incredible capacity for seeing truth, for seeing deeper and deeper truth. And that's what I have to say about consciousness. Mm.